Hello, welcome back to Blender Sushi Live Noting. In this episode, I'm sharing a simple scene, a simple node setup that basically generate this uh, paper spinner. Um, so yeah, it's actually pretty, uh, pretty easy, right? Uh, the idea is really just to bend a mesh that uh, it's a triangle. It starts from triangle, and you simply want to just bend it. Simple bend, simple deformer. And I found that Blender own uh, deformer should be sufficient uh, you can simply just bend it using axis origin uh, this deformer actually I, I found it to be sometimes slightly slightly complicated to use yeah, but with trial and error you can definitely bend bend it in a certain axis um, there is actually a YouTube video that talks about this uh, but anyway, so I started with um, a triangle in Spectrop, and I also have this plane, which is just like a grid, and I'm using this crop mesh. Why? Why, why am I using this? Because the result of this is a, simply a triangle with a nice grid. So this is the first start. With the uh, with a proper grid, you have a nicer bend. In this case, I'm bending it with a uh, just a slightly uh, weird uh, topology, but uh, it works, still works. And so, with after I do that, I have two things happening here. First one is I'm sim simply using this simple deform and the empty. So this is still live. In fact, if I'm making any weird changes, it's gonna update here. Okay, so this is the really I think the, the power of procedurality. And so let me tweak this slightly ah, anyway. You got the idea. So this thing actually goes back into Spectrop. This goes into Spectrop and then I kind of like move it, rotate it, instance it inside Spectrop. So I could have this kind of thing happening. Right, that's uh, I think it's kind of neat. And then I simply rotate it. I, I have the cylinder um, to make this complete, you know, you probably want to have something here like a button. Uh, if I'm attempting to do this inside Spectrop alone, there's also a simple deformation node similar to this. I still think that using an empty to to get a result, you know, kind of like rotate to get a different deformation and bend, it's easier to do using uh, empty instead of trying to uh, use the matrix and kind of putting the number it's easier using empty locator so anyway you're gonna have bend or like a fold that creates this paper spinner so this that's really the whole idea it's really simple really basic play around with the bend uh, deformer and see what you can come out with because sometimes even just like bending and deforming they are deforming a, a, a flat surface kind of give you a nice design there's something here that you can use to to make like a like a flower normally with 3d you don't you, you don't do bending or like origami paper too much and sometimes you're afraid you you avoid like non-manifold geometry However, there in, in nature there, there are plenty of geometry that's non-manifold and they just simply mesh itself into something more interesting. I know like flower or plants. If have you ever seen like, like a plant, how it grows from seed? It's actually super interesting. Uh, the way that the leaf is kind of uh, spiraling before it opens up into like a normal leaf inside the seed is actually like a spiral it's really weird so but anyway that's a 
this is the whole thing, the paper spinner. I'm gonna give you the node set up and the blend. Uh, hopefully you find this interesting. You can try yourself and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.